Thanks for watching. Good morning are you, from Radio Mamina. The radio is always close to you. Today, I want to tell you about Salome. In truth, in truth I tell you, that this should have been said by my Spanish conscience. Which does so. Good morning R.O. from Radio Mamina. The radio is always close to you. Today, I want to tell you about Salome. I believe, that the language we represent may have limits. And this is why I appeal to other consciences. In me, many nations live. But now I'm not here to dwell on this particular. I prefer to go directly to tell you the story of Salome. That the sooner I get out of the way, better is for everyone. It was November 20, 2018, and Salome is sleeping. She sleeps all day. That sleep of hers brings with it the gift of serenity, the condition of the sky when it is clear of clouds, and the time when the sky is like this. Unemploying thoughts in life with activity implies collects and replaces the needy act of fatigued presence to the docile sleep of abandonment Salome sleeps she always sleeps sleeps on everything and at all hours with a viking intensity It rips the vigil to a gentle murmur of the hair, small tremors of pampering and dreams. While rolled up, tells the motionless gesture of hope. That day, I lay on the ground, to breathe that engrossed gait. To understand what was, inside that little body of black hair that lying on the ground, it abandoned itself to my vigil. I saw its shiny and crooked eyes looking at me. They seemed there for me, nothing else for the rest. Why do you look at me if I sleep? You came down to breathe my sleep. While everything, here, now, it's immobile. You look into my eyes. The floor is my horizon where the ants are told, and also the spiders. And me? I sleep. I always sleep. Day, night, and afternoon. If it's sunny outside, and inside the wind. If it's raining outside, and inside music, if there is outside, and inside it is missing. I sleep on everything, on the leaves, on the mountains, on the paths, and on the chimneys. I just sleep, and this sleep doesn't sleepy. 
even the breath is black. Sometimes it darkens, sometimes it ruffles, sometimes seems absent. It is given to the belly. Only to the belly. Tell that life is taking place. Salome has a swollen belly, and when she moves it from sleep, she seems to chew. I can sleep with my eyes open. So much is the sleep or maybe something else, even more. Because if you always sleep, this sleep is no longer sleep, it is no longer tied to sleep. This sleeping is another sleeping. Is to adapt, catapulting into catalepsy, moving the earth, to go elsewhere, in menopause, in hibernation. I stood on trust, self-suspended, self-determined, I replaced myself, never or maybe yes, suspended, to the death of being. À la mort de l'être, Salomé dort, dort toujours, il dort surtout, et son sommeil n'est pas endormi. Salomé sleeps. Salome sleeps. She always sleeps, she always sleeps. She sleeps on she everything. sleeps on everything. And her sleep doesn't sleepy. What more luxuriant form of sleeping to life? What higher form of a sleep while out everything flows? Where psychology is no longer helpful and abstains from the mantle of the terrible possibility of sleeping on life. Sleep us close, sleep us close. Even the breath, its music between rhymes, which tells of a still life, motionless. Sleep, crouched and round. Salome sleeps. Salome dort. Dort toujours. Il dort surtout. Et son sommeil n'est pas endormi. Fini.